Hey everyone, welcome back to Inspiro. Today I'm going to be sharing my most worn fall items, fall wardrobe essentials with you, and whether or not I think it's worth investing in in terms of buying a new piece, or if it's something that I think is pretty easy to thrift. I hope that it can also give you some ideas of what pieces you might get the most wear out of too, where these are like my true tried and tested pieces that I love. I do usually try to thrift everything first, but I've learned over the years what pieces I can thrift and will only thrift, and then some pieces pieces that I buy because I know that it'll take forever to thrift or I still haven't found to this day. Um, so I hope that this video can help. I also want to preface this video by saying that I don't really know what it is tied to fall. Maybe it's like the back to school and wanting to show off and feel like you you have like this new identity. I feel like that's honestly been rooted in us since we were children. I feel like that's why fall for me is very much like all right, time to like get my shit together and feel stylish. But one, your worth isn't tied to what you own or your style. It's honestly your confidence in knowing who you are. Um, two, you don't need newness all the time. And it doesn't matter if you're gonna wear the same outfits as last season. No one's gonna remember. Who cares? I have worn most of this last season. I love it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, and three, the most sustainable pieces are the ones that we already own. So I just uploaded a video on how to sustainably build your wardrobe, assessing your wardrobe, actually know what you have before you go out and you buy new things to add to it. First, I want to start off with my casual go-to outfit. I've already worn this a ton these past few weeks. I think I'm going to wear it more as fall comes on too. And it is a pair of joggers and a crop top. I honestly think that this is a style that everyone almost wears. Um, and it's so comfortable and I've tried thrifting a crop top for how many years has it been and it's it's just one of the things that are so hard so this one is a Marie Young one I talked about it in my sustainable brands you should know um, bamboo ecotech certified ethically made in Toronto in small batches and then these are my base range joggers that I bought from me classics you've heard a ton about these as well um, I'll link both of these below. These, I have tried to find block joggers for I think three years and I just couldn't thrift them, couldn't find a sustainable option that fit me well, that also looked slightly elevated and I'm so happy that I bought these. I've already gotten so many wares out of them. Organic cotton made in small batches ethically in Spain. I think it's so easy. It's such a casual, comfortable base layer that you can wear with anything. Next thing I wanna talk about is a jumpsuit. This was honestly my most worn item last fall. I thrifted this jumpsuit. You could play it up, play it down. I honestly think though, to find a jumpsuit that fits, I stumbled across this by luck. I don't really have a good brand to recommend to buy this new, but I do think that a simple jumpsuit in a really nice like hugging silhouette is such a staple. I would wear this with jackets layered on top, sweaters layered on top, with like even a sweater underneath or like a shirt underneath. I think it's so versatile and I just really loved how simple and easy it was. Next is a block long sleeve. I definitely think you should thrift this. There are so many block tops at the thrift shops all the time and a lot of the times they're in really good condition this one is a finer knit and it has some eyelet detailing in it so it's a little bit see-through which i liked i definitely always opt for a long sleeve over a t-shirt in the fall because as it gets chillier i think it's nice to have your arms covered i also think that's something about it just looks very chic and put together and for sweaters honestly there are so many good knit sweaters at the thrift store that are second hand that are amazing condition that I usually just say, thrift all your sweaters. So I'm gonna talk through some examples. This is a cardigan that I love. It is hand knitted. I think it's just so unique. And when you're looking for sweaters like this, because they're hand knitted and these unique styles, it's very rare that someone's gonna have something similar. Um, so cardigans are a super easy one. So here's another example of a cardigan. This one is originally Wilfred, it's a little dirty. Um, and it's a more standard like merino knit, more I'd say clean looking. And then here are three examples of my most worn, uh, just normal knit sweaters. Uh, this is a white one and I also have this chunky one that has these like different colored textures in the yarn, which I love. And then here is a more like, what color is this? Latte color. <laughs> Uh, sweater, but it's so easy to thrift these styles, especially that are just like a throwover crew neck 
chunky sweater. And the other type of sweater that is super easy to thrift are turtlenecks, where both of these are cashmere too. And I think the tip for this, I wanna do like a how to thrift high quality pieces video. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. But it's so easy to look through sweater, the sweater section of the thrift store because you're just going by feel. They are a bit more late fall for me when it gets really cold. I love layering with these because they're a bit of a thinner knit. The chunkier knits start to get very casual where these are very chic because they're very slimming and very like thin knits. Um, so I love layering with these two. We just have a black and a camel here. Next fall essential or all year round essential is a classic collared shirt. This is an organic cotton one from Eileen Fisher. There are a ton at the thrift shop, so I always recommend checking your thrift shops first. If you're going for that slightly oversized boyfriend look, I would say just thrift a classic white one from the men's section. If you want something with a bit of a more unique cut, I was looking for an A-line one, so this one flows out. It's not the classic straight cut, just because I have wider shoulders. So this way, these shirts already tend to give you a lot of uh, volume because they're like a bit stiffer, right? So I really wanted a shape that flowed out. I think when you're looking for a specific shape like that, I would buy new, but I would look for a brand that does organic cotton and certified Ecotex cotton and stuff like that. I think this is something that's really flattering on everybody where a white t-shirt, in my opinion, isn't. So this is key. But then there are also the more like wavy, softer, flowy options, which I also really love. Both of these are thrifted. I think it's really easy to find flowy blouses at the thrift store. Uh, this one has been one that I've worn so much out of already. It's like one of my key fall items. It's this blue heavy silk shirt. And then this is my like crazier, louder statement blouse for fall. This one is also thrifted. I honestly think this is such a fun way to have like a moment with your outfits when you just have like a very basic bottom and shoe to have a louder blouse. And these are again, so easy to thrift because you're going by print by color, you don't want a loud shirt that everyone else has either. Like, what's the point in that? You want something unique, which is why I always recommend thrifting them. So next is pants. I know I already mentioned the joggers in the beginning. So now I want to mention trousers. I think fall for me is the season of trousers. I love trousers. And you can dress them down or dress them up. And they are so, so easy to thrift. Don't buy your trousers new. There are so many good vintage trousers with like the best cuts and there's usually a ton of them at the thrift shops because they're like an older style too, but you get the high waist and like everything, it's so good. These are my usual go-to just because they match with everything really well and they go with my skin tone really well. But I also wanted to show you some other ones that I've also thrifted. This one is an olive green pair um, that I absolutely love. And then I also have a brown one. The thing I love about how easy trousers are to thrift too is that you can just go all out and thrift as many trousers in different colors as you want. I love it because they become like the point of the outfit. If I want to do like a monochrome outfit or if I want to do a bright bold pant, I feel like it's okay to thrift more clothes because they're secondhand if you love the shape. So whenever I see trousers I love, like I have so many thrifted trousers. Last pair of essential pants for me is a pair of leather pants. I wore these at least twice a week last year in fall and winter because they're warm in the winters too. Um, and I like these ones because they're a straight leg. These ones are thrifted and I think they are a little bit harder to thrift, but there are so many, like when I see them at the thrift stores, they are always an amazing shape that would look so good. So just keep an eye out for them. Something that we need to address in fashion and in consumption is how we expect everything instantly, right? We want everything right away especially when we want a new wardrobe where like we want it tomorrow and that's what makes fast fashion so appealing because you can usually find what you're looking for because there's so much produced of it but i think that if you really are trying to invest in pieces that you love it's going to take time because it's you're not going to find the perfect item for what you're looking for right away it's just about knowing what you want knowing that you don't need it right away, but knowing it's on your list so that when you're out thrifting, you can always watch out for it. And I promise you, you will always end up thrifting an amazing piece where like, even if I did want a pair of leather pants, I would just add them to my list of things I'd want to thrift. 
and once I thrift them, it would be amazing. And if I don't have them yet, that's okay too, you know? It doesn't make me and it doesn't make you a lesser person because we don't own this one item that we want to own, if that makes sense. So anyway, just my little TED talk of the day. I know that I have, what, four like outerwear pieces on here, but the one key one for fall, um, which I'm sure you have seen a ton of in other fall essential videos, is a like motorcycle jacket. This one is suede by Eileen Fisher. Um, again, got this when I worked there. I think it's a beautiful brown color and I think it just goes so well with my skin tone. The moto jacket style, I think is so flattering on everyone. I would say if you're looking for a black one, it's taken me so long if you're looking for like that modern style. So I do think that is worth investing in. There's a brand called Deadwood that does it out of recycled leather. They're based out of the UK, so I'll leave them link below. I've actually been eyeing them for a while, but I also have three thrifted moto jackets to show you. <laughs> So the first one, it's this lighter oatmeal one, and I think it's so pretty, especially for early fall, especially with my darker hair. And then I have two gray moto jackets that are also thrifted. So this one is a Danier one. You can see I have a tag from when I had my shop, because I realized that I, I don't really like wearing gray anymore. I found that it's just like not something that looks good on Asian skin tones. <laughs> but I have so much gray, which is a problem. This one is a lighter gray and it's a bit bigger. So I got a lot of use out of this in the spring, last two springs, which I really like. And I like that it's a faux leather too. But yeah, I'm committed to thrifting a black moto jacket that is like in this cut. But for now I have these ones for a gray mood. Might do a closet sale and sell a lot of my gray pieces though. I'd say the next outerwear essential and staple is a trench coat. This one I also wear in the spring. I think it goes well into the fall because it is this tan color. The button fell off, so I need to fix that. I love this because it's lighter, so we're not getting into like the, the really cold, like heavy winter jackets yet, but it still gives you some warmth. And I like that it's longer, so it keeps your legs warm too. Thrifted this one as well. I think trench coats are so easy to thrift as well. If you check the men's section for smaller sizes and if you check the women's section, I think you can get away with even like a bit more oversized uh, trench coat. I also wanted to show you this blue one that I also thrifted. This one is more spring, I'd say, than fall, but goes to show, easy to thrift trench coats. <laughs> so last two items on this clothing rack are statement jackets. I think in the fall, it's really fun to play with prints and ladder pieces. And I think, especially if you're trying to build a like, really intentional wardrobe. For me, it's often a lot of basic pieces, which I really like. I think that is my style is to keep it pretty simple, but there are moments where I think it's really valuable to add some bold pieces here and there because it makes it feel like your own wardrobe. No matter what a bold statement piece means to you, I think it's important to have them. And I personally really like thrifting those things because that way I don't feel as bad when I get tired of them. And redonate them and then thrift newer like statement pieces to kind of change up my wardrobe. I have two examples here. One is a bomber jacket and one is a blazer. I feel like they depend on your style. These two are two that I love though and they're statement pieces in two different ways. Um, this one I thrifted from like a Goodwill. It is a houndstooth tuxedo blazer from the men's section. I don't think a blazer is a staple for fall. I know that for some people, they, they love it. I think it depends on your style and your mood. When I started to work in tech, I stopped wearing a lot of like professional looking pieces like blazers and stuff. I do like to play with them, but I don't think it's a staple. If you love blazers, highly recommend just thrifting them. There's always a ton of blazers. And lastly, this bomber jacket. Oh my God, I'm in love with it. It's both an art piece and a statement piece for me. <laughs> this is a Dries Von Noten blazer I consigned. And it was one of the pieces where I was like, I don't really know if I can style this in more than three ways off the top of my head with the items that I have in my wardrobe where I usually like to think of it as like, okay, if I can picture like at least five outfits with pieces that I already own, it's something that'll fit well. 
but it was one of those items that makes me so happy to look at and wear. I know this is getting to a very long video, so I just wanna share some shoes really quick. I think the first one, because fall still has its warmer days, is a black sandal. You guys know I have my Brave Soul ones. They're a bit dirty right now, so I'm not gonna show you, but you've seen them in my past videos. I honestly think for like shoes, they're really hard for me to thrift unless I'm doing like a consignment shop or something, but even then it's hard to find styles that you're looking specifically for. I do also have this example. These are mules that I thrifted. They are a bit less comfortable, but I love the heel. They're a bit more fancy. I honestly think that they're a knockoff. I just really liked the shape of them, so I thrifted them. And then next is a white sneaker. I love that I finally have a sustainable option to share with you. These are by Thousandfell. I'll do, I think, a full review on them soon, but I mentioned them so much already. I brought these to Montreal this past weekend. I walked hours and hours and so many steps in them, and they are so, so comfortable. Highly recommend looking more into them. If you're going to walk long distances, like, it's just nice to wear this, where in the past I was like, no pain, no gain. I'm going to wear really uncomfortable, like, heels or, like, heel boots, but sneakers are the way to go, and I feel like they also dress them down. They're also just a very, like, Parisian vibe, which I love, so. And then, of course, have to mention a black booty. I think it's a staple. I feel like everyone has a black boot now too. These ones are ones that I've had for so many years. They're starting to be ruined by salt stains, but I'm trying really hard to, to keep them in great condition. I got them from a Toronto boutique, which is not closed, sadly, which is so sad but I think they're like a Swedish brand or something. Yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope that this can help inspire you to thrift or even inspire you to kind of learn what my most worn fall pieces are and hopefully that'll help you figure out what pieces you might be missing in your wardrobe. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you like just fashion content in general, please leave a like, it would mean the world to me. Let me know down below what your fall wardrobe essentials are. What do you wear most often? What are some tips that you have to share with others in the in the comments? I always love talking to you down there. So excited to respond to all of your comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. It would mean the world to me. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do. It's also at Inspiro. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.